Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Sometimes when you're walking around in a mall, you would have seen a caution sign somewhat like this. Have you ever wondered why exactly a wet floor slips? A few might know this from basic physics and a few misfortunate souls would have learnt it by slipping and hurting themselves. The reason behind this is friction. Friction is a very important phenomenon which is present everywhere. It's the reason why you're able to sit on your couch, walk, run, and even the phone that you're watching this video is in your hands because of friction. Friction is the force resisting the relative motion of solid surfaces, fluid layers, and material elements sliding against each other. There are two major types of friction. They are dry friction and fluid friction. Before we dive into the topic of how friction works or what are the different types of friction that are available, it would be better if we could learn why friction occurs. We can understand this easily with this illustration. This is a microscopic picture of two surfaces in contact with each other. If you notice closely, there are a lot of ridges on the surface of objects. When the number of ridges is high, the object offers more resistance to movement on its surface. When the object has a lesser number of ridges, it offers lower resistance to movement. The value of resistance offered by an object for movement is quantified by coefficient of friction. We will be discussing more on this topic in our future videos. Now, back to where we left. That is types of friction. Dry friction generally acts when a solid surface moves on the surface of another solid surface. Solid friction is further divided into static friction and kinetic friction. Imagine this situation. You got a new Almira for your home. The delivery guy left it in the veranda but you want to move it to your room. You push, you pull, you use all your strength and the thing does not budge. Well, this is because of static friction. Now, you go to the kitchen and have a glass of your favorite energy drink. You go back to the veranda again and push it. Voila! It moves. But there's still a little bit of difficulty in moving it. Well, this is because of kinetic friction. Static friction is the force that prevents the box from moving when it is stationary. It must be overcome to impart movement to the object. Whereas kinetic friction is the resistance that is offered to the relative motion of the object. The value of kinetic friction is always much lesser than that of static friction. Friction does not exist only between solids. It also exists between fluids and solids. This type of friction is called fluid friction. A good example of fluid friction is falling stars. These falling stars are nothing but meteorites from outer space which burn up in the atmosphere due to friction between the atmosphere and the meteorites. Well, that's it guys. In the next video, we'll talk about a type of dry friction called the sliding friction. We'll meet again in the next one. Until then, bye.